or sorry, in this quick video clip, I just want to talk about sodium filled valves. Uh, if you don't know what that is, hopefully by the end of this video you will. This is a valve out of a Ferrari 308 Quattro valve. All right, so now I'm going to cut open this valve. is cut. All right, so first you see I have the valve stem here. Notice there's a hole in it, it's hollow. I'm gonna take this drill bit, it's just slightly smaller, and slide it down to the valve stem. And just kind of carefully start the drill. And it feels almost like putty. And slowly pull it out, and you see this right here. Oops, sorry. That's sodium. So what you see it's literally, it is very paste-like, almost like a glue. I'm going to try using this block of wood to push this sodium off of my bit. Alright, so I attempted to cut this valve head in half, but this is extremely hard material, and uh, our bandsaw blade's a little worn, so I didn't feel like changing bandsaw blades, but the base of this valve, as you can tell, is hollow and there's more sodium inside the valve. There's also sodium down the stem. Now the reason for that is to displace heat. It helps prevent the valve from becoming warped or fragile based on the amount of heat that it absorbs during runnability. And that's about all there is to it. Now the downside is this technically makes the valve slightly more fragile. They're known for breaking off valve heads on the 308s because of these sodium filled valves. So most people during rebuilds will upgrade these to modern day stainless valves. All right guys, hopefully you learned a little bit about sodium valves. Not a lot of information on it. Uh, sodium is a pretty volatile material, so you gotta be very careful with it if you're ever exposed to it. It does react to water, it does react to heat. Um, I don't know, got any questions, any other input, please feel free to comment below. Thanks.